Greetings everybody! So today I'm going to talk about lemons. Uh, not the ones that you get at the supermarket. Uh, when you go to the supermarket you usually get uh, one of two varieties, either a Lisbon lemon or a Eureka lemon. Those are the two most popular ones that you find at supermarkets. However, there are a ton of different other varieties of lemons and they are different from each other. The ones that you get at the supermarket are popular because they have a good shelf life. They're, they're easy for a supermarket to buy a whole bunch of them and keep them on the shelf and then, you know, six months later they might go bad and then throw them away. But there are other varieties out there that are even tastier and today I have two that um, are less common. Sometimes this one pops up at supermarkets, especially places like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Um, this is a Meyer lemon. This is actually a hybrid between a lemon and a mandarin. And this is a Villa Franca lemon, which is a Sicilian variety. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but one thing that's notable is the, the size of it. It's like twice the size of a supermarket lemon. I believe this is a Lisbon lemon. There's a few seeds in there, but it is relatively seedless. That is a pretty fruit for sure. Oh, the smell on it's really nice too. I can get it. I can get a good width of it from here. Yeah, there's also seeds in there, but it is also fairly seedless. The Meyer lemon. Now this one is pretty round. Some varieties tend to be a little bit more oblong, like a regular lemon, and it's uh, darker on the outside. You can definitely tell that it has that mandarin citrus in uh, in its parentage. And this one is very, very seedy. Before I go any further, I want to thank the Monterey Bay chapter of the California Rare Fruit Growers. They are an organization that uh, provides resources and holds events for people who grow rare fruits. They have an annual tasting event, but this year they weren't able to do it because of COVID. So in lieu of that, they were kind enough to donate a bunch of citrus to me to review on the channel. So thank you so much to the Monterey Bay chapter of CRFG. Now, as I've mentioned on the channel before, I am not one of those people that can just like bite into a lemon and have a good time. Uh, I do like sour things, but my enjoyment of sour things ends around like a 7 out of 10, and then I want to add some sugar to it. So um, this might be a little bit painful, but for the uh, for the science of it, I'm going to take a, a bite out of a regular lemon first. Mm. This is clearly a 10 out of 10. Uh, lemons are not all that flavorful when you get them from a supermarket. The flavor that you get is just like sourness. That's like the first flavor that you get. The, uh, the rind can have a little bit more lemony flavor to it, but the juice on the inside, there's not that much to it. So let's see if the Villa Franca lemon has more flavor to it. Yeah. I'd say it's a little bit less, but I wouldn't say it's a nine. The pulp bits on this are a little bit thicker, a little bit more crisp, so the texture is different. And the flavor, oh the flavor. The flavor on this is honestly very similar to the supermarket one. It's maybe, it's maybe a little bit cleaner in flavor. When you eat the supermarket one, I can almost pick up notes of um, like orange to it or some other citruses in there, maybe a little bit of a limey sort of flavor in there. But in this, you're getting a clean uh, lemon juice flavor. I do like it a lot more than the supermarket lemon because this tastes fresher. Yeah, you can, you can definitely tell that one of these was sitting at a supermarket, the other one was grown in somebody's backyard. So next I'm going to try two pieces of the rind. So this is the supermarket rind. Yeah, it's, it's good. I would I'd grate that onto like a dessert or something and be happy with it fresh. Next, the Villafranca 
lemon rind. Hmm, that is, um, that's definitely different. It's easier to eat. It's less harsh. And the flavor is different. Um, less like a lemon, more like a citron. And that's a little bit more floral tasting. Yeah, so a little less like harsh citrus and a little bit more like chamomile tea. Yeah, so um, both of those are good. They'd, they'd both be good. Uh, the Villafranca lemon, I can see cutting up some of that rind and brewing it into a tea, maybe put some of the juice in there, and that'd be really nice. So next I want to talk about the Meyer lemon. Now the Meyer lemon I've actually reviewed in the past, but um, yeah, look at the quality of this video. The chefs have been using these in America quite a lot recently, especially because Martha Stewart likes them. And if Martha Stewart likes them, that means everybody should try this fruit. It is um, pretty, pretty bad. The reason why we have the Meyer lemon here in the United States is because of one man, Frank Meyer. Frank Meyer was a botanical explorer that was hired by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. His job was to go to other countries, wander around, and find different plant species and then bring them back to the United States. Frank Meyer was a total badass. This guy would walk from one end of the country to the other. And he was doing this at a point in time where there was not a whole lot of foreigners traveling. By doing this, in his lifetime, he introduced 2,500 different plants to the U.S. The stories of his adventures are like insane. I actually read about him originally in a book called The Food Explorer, which was actually about another botanical explorer, uh, David Fairchild. I'm going to read a couple of sections from this book uh, regarding his trip to China where he ended up finding the Meyer lemon. Meyer rejected the trappings of fancy hotels and guest houses for modest inns and local food, saving the department and the United States government thousands of dollars. Several weeks before he left Peking, Meyer visited a small village and noticed in a house doorway a small bush with fruit as yellow as a fresh egg yolk. Meyer ignored a man who told him the plant was ornamental, its fruit not typically eaten but prized for its year-round production. It was a lemon, but smaller and rounder, its flavor surprised him as both sweeter than a citron and tarter than an orange, and its price, 20 cents per fruit or $10 per tree, suggested that people with an abundance of other citrus valued it greatly. Despite risking his life and saving the U.S. government money, he actually was not really given a whole lot of credit, and he wasn't actually paid that much. <laughs> I'm glad to know that although he wasn't given a whole lot of credit, he still is remembered by having uh, a citrus, a citrus that people really, really love today, named after him. Okay, so we got a little wedge of it. Let's give it a taste. Oh. It definitely is sour like a lemon, um, maybe not a 10, but close. Uh, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. And the sweetness on it is more than a lemon. Let's give it like a, a 4 out of 10 on, on sweetness. But the most notable thing is that flavor. That flavor is delicious. It's really, really good. It um, has that mandarin in there. You definitely can taste the mandarin. It tastes like a lemon and a mandarin had a baby. You, you definitely get both flavors in there. It's a nice clean flavor too. Like this is the sort of thing that you could use like you would use a lemon and it's just going to impart a little bit of a, like a mandarin taste instead of just purely lemon. There are so many things that you could do with a Meyer lemon. So many places where you could replace a lemon with a Meyer lemon and give uh, such a nice flavor to it. You know, lemons, as I said, are um, they're useful, but the flavor in them is fairly mild. You're mostly getting sourness, and then you're getting the, a little bit of lemon flavor there. So, 
to use this, you're going to add not just that sourness, but a little bit more flavor to the party as well. So that is, uh, that's really cool. Uh, the rind on these is not usually something that people talk about that much, so I'm going to try a little slice of that as well. The rind on it isn't good. The rind on this has a touch of um, a menthol kind of flavor, so it's a little bit medicinal tasting. So I'm not a big fan of the, of the rind of this, unless you're specifically, you know, making cough drops. So I think that is all I have to say today about lemon varieties. Uh, again, I'd like to thank the Monterey Bay chapter of CRFG for sending me such an incredible bounty of citruses. There will be more citrus reviews coming up in the future as well, so stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I would like to give a shout out to Smarter Every Day, AltPod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on patreon.com if you haven't heard of it patreon.com is it's how this channel happens it's how i can afford to keep this youtube channel going so if you haven't checked it out please take a moment to go into the description below and click the link there uh, i also have t-shirts for sale over on my web store a link to that is in the description as well thanks so much guys Bye bye